Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Pass the Ox. And we have a normal guest, Jacob Pickett, with us today. Hello. DJP, how's it going? It's going all right. You're and so then, normal. <laughs> so I'm so normal. We got a new guest with us today. Um, it's so new. Big Boss Man, a.k.a. Watch Out for That Hill, a.k.a. <laughs> Muddy Cleats, a.k.a. A- Big Boot. Radio Rich Green, <laughs> a.k.a. Stumble, a.k.a. Hobble. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. So... This is your first time on Pass the Ox. It actually is, yes. First time on Pass the Ox. You guys talked me into it, finally. We start off every episode asking the same question. Okay. What have you been listening to lately? Lately? Who, music-wise? Yeah. Uh, I've been listening to the New Churches album uh, a little bit. I'm trying to get into that. Um, But usually, I listen to just my normal, like, Mid to late 2000s emo alternative yeah, music. Word. You know, The Strokes, Classic. Paramore, you know, stuff like that. Um, what else was I listening to recently? What what song? There's a song I'm really into right now, and I can't... Oh, what's, what's the <laughs> name of it? Uh, I know we play it. I just can't mm-hmm. think of the name of it right now. But I'm actually really digging the station. The music director, Quentin's been killing it. Oh, yeah. It. Quentin's mm-hmm. been nailing it this year. Uh, and Absolutely. so we've been playing really good jams on the station. So I'm actually been listening to that in my office quite a bit. So. Sick. Right on. Well, Jacob, what have you been listening to? Uh, well, the usual, like I talked about before, where like some album anniversaries come up. So I end up listening to those again. Like uh, Serge Tonkin's debut solo album. That anniversary mm-hmm. happened recently. So I listened to that. Uh, it was one year of Gorilla's latest album, Song Machines. Oh, yeah. Uh, Love just, that album. Yeah, this past week. Uh, since the last time I've been on here, or well, last time on uh, the Now Lost episode yeah. of Past the Ox, uh, where Man. we talked about some upcoming music, uh, I talked about JPEG Mafia's newest album, LP, yeah. and that came out, and it's insane and incredible. And I know, I think you've listened to at oh, least yeah. to all of it or some of it. I listened point. to all of it. Yeah, and it's... That's incredible. Uh, Lionel Del Rey's uh, new album, I listened to it, what was that, yesterday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yesterday, the day before, I already forget. But that was a roller coaster in several ways, which I very much enjoyed. Uh, and that's sort of, yeah, outside of that, it's just been, you know, shuffling playlists and, and whatnot, going all over the place. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, me, personally, I, uh, I listened to JPEG's new album. Uh, I agree. It was very good. Um, I'm a sucker for Britney, so obviously right. the fact that he interpolated Britney on a song was great. Um, Wale dropped a new album, Florin 2, and it was very good. Uh, Wale, Wale gets zero dis- gets zero respect, and he deserves all of the respect. I agree. Um, checked out Puya's new album. I need uh, to do that as well. Uh, been bumping Zach Fox, his new album. So good. Uh, but most of all, like I actually went back to my "It's a Lifestyle" playlist a lot lately, <laughs> and just just vibed to all the emo music I could vibe to. But other than that, I just I bounce around from everything. But today we are going to be playing "Bump or Dump" throwback playlist extravaganza. Yeah, yeah, my wheelhouse. All yeah. about it. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> there are no rules. Every rule is off the table. The only rule that's not even a rule because there's no rules is it has to be 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Early Where is th- the cutoff of early 2000s? Early 2000s ends at 2009, I've decided. 2009, okay. All right. Okay. I was going to guess that cut early 2000s would cut off in 2005. Yeah. Whatever. There's no I rules. I guess it's just there's, 2000s. There's no rules. There's no rules. There's it doesn't no matter. Rules. Hey. We'll talk about whatever. You better stop. Or I'll start putting agreeing. Machine Gun Kelly in here. Oh, how dare you? How <laughs> dare you? So 2009... <laughs> Yeah. I guess that would I just be 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, we got, okay. All I right. just, I anything love Lady Gaga. Two, anything before 2010 and after 1980. Yeah. Yeah. Word. All right. So, That's we're going to start with the newest guest first. What's the first song you're going to throw into this playlist? Well, I was wondering, like, what kind of vibe we're going through this playlist, right? So, so like, my playlist I have for, like, when I stream is all over the place. It includes all this, this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. But, um, since this is, like, an early 90s or 80s to 90s playlist, you know, the first thing that I probably throw in there is something that's got, like, some upbeat, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I would think, like, something like Katrina and the Waves, okay. right, would be really good. Okay. Um, Walking on Sunshine. You guys ever <laughs> seen the movie uh, High, Fis- High Fidelity yes. with John yes. Cusack, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Jack Black comes in, and he's like, this, this song just gets you going, right? <laughs> like, that's always a solid, just, like, opener 
uh, to any kind of, I don't know if we're talking about a party or whatever, but that's definitely on the playlist. Oh, yeah. Sure. Mm. Uh-huh. Well, the description of the playlist I made was Pat Seox podcast official throwback playlist with a mix of 80s, 90s, and early 2000s bops. So whatever you classify as a bop, because I know I'm going to put a few, like, vibey songs in here that aren't necessarily party vibes, but right. pick it. What do you got next? Uh, my first thought was more so, like, the party vibe, whether that is, like, a more laid-back one or, like, not a, maybe not a rager, but something, like, more hype. Yeah. So my first thought went to Gorillaz because okay. they, do, they do literally all of that every album pretty much. Sure. So I thought back since you keep mentioning, like, specifically saying early 2000s, I thought of their first album. Uh, so either Clint Eastwood from that uh, and or uh, 19 2000. Those two, because Clint Eastwood's more like you know, you know, you have Del the Funky Homo Sapien, yeah. and the the song's really like a good vibe, and then he comes in rapping, and it's just like fantastic. Yeah. And then nineteen two thousands, the more you know, upbeat techno sound, yeah. just kind of catchy song. I'd say that. start off with Clint Eastwood, mm-hmm. and then if we come back later, we could always. I I'm not limiting a certain amount of artists at all. Right. Like you can have more the more than one song by the same artist at any oh. point. Whoa. I'm just trying Whoa. to do. I'm Whoa. just trying to do no back to back artists. Then so yes. just everything by Britney Spears, Lady Gaga. That, I mean, yes, that yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. We will eventually get there. Yes. Oh my god, <laughs> that's yeah. for sure. Uh, this speaking, is gonna be the worst playlist anybody's ever. It's <laughs> gonna be false. twenty Britney Spears songs, two Gorilla songs. This sounds great. Walking on sunshine. I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds fantastic to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would rock that anytime. Yeah. So that hurt my chest a little bit. You saying that? <laughs> and so, <laughs> um, speaking of a. Uh, our pop queens. I decided I'm gonna do "I Know What You Want" by Busta Rhymes and Mariah Carey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Weird. Cause All right. I feel like that song is such a vibe, and who knew Busta Rhymes could sing? <laughs> well, I don't think he can, but Mariah can. <laughs> and Mariah well, can. It's like, All that matters like, is Mariah. He carries give a it tune. to me. I'll give it to you. <laughs> yeah. I know what you want. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, and so he, Mariah can make Busta sound good. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sure. that I makes a, sense. I was going to say, Mariah's on the song, therefore anyone singing is just going to sound good she's in the room. Yeah, he sounds right. a little whiny. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's a song hey, I never even thought of, It's honestly. a bop. Like, it really is. That's what the best part about having three heads in on this is, is being able to get everyone's thoughts that no one would have thought of mm-hmm. all, right. all right we're back to you radio rich well G. i'm just i'm literally just going through my playlist right now and it just i just got stop right in my tracks with uh just a little boy band action oh Word. but post post boy band oh like, so we're talking about justin timberlake rock I, your body i knew oh! it i knew it was gonna be justin timberlake as soon as you started saying that well nobody it. cares about like lance bass post and sync uh, and space true. travel uh yeah the or only... joy fatone Doing hey, whatever he's doing. Chill. <laughs> chill. No, NSYNC's like, okay, if I have my choice between NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, 100% I'm an NSYNC. I can, oh, yeah. I can sing all of their albums. Like, it's really weird for a 38-year-old man to be like, dude, I have all the albums. Oh. I can sing them all the People on the interstate definitely think I have something wrong with me. Mm. The way that I just be jamming. You should see how crazy I get when It's Gonna Be Me comes on. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, but uh, it's gonna be May. Just for just for reference, May. I care about Joey Fatone, <laughs> and I also care about J C Chavez. They're both good people. Oh, if you cared man. about J C, you wouldn't call them Chavez. It's Chaze with his... well. No. Hey, so I blame Mario Lopez that... for that because <laughs> he pronounced it wrong on America's Best Dance Crew. Oh, also oh. the greatest show of all time. A C Slater, come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> This is, All right, pick it. It's this is you. The, this is the best amalgamation of topics to talk about I could ever ask for. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's about, though, right? Yeah, it's a exactly. podcast. You can do whatever this you where want. This should be as weird as possible. Oh, there's going to be literally one episode where we just sit here and stare at each other and just it's, say the first music thing that comes to mind. I would like that, actually. Piano. Just stream of thought. Okay. <laughs> so, so stream of thought. Stream of consciousness. Uh, I'm trying to think. Now, I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I keep thinking of, like... Keep thinking an incubus song could work. Oh. I'm just trying to think of what, because I don't. I feel like Ooh. I feel like the first thought everybody has is drive. Yeah, but like that's st- not gonna be. That was the first thought. That's but a that's vibe. a solid song. That's it a is vibe. a solid. Yeah, it is a solid song. But I don't know if we're like for what we're going with so far. I don't know if that fits. That it doesn't have to be like. Here's the thing, though, is we're so early on in this conversation, right? There's no rules. That's yeah, true. there's and no there rules. There are no rules. It doesn't saying, have to be like. I, I, <laughs> right. I'm imposing rules on myself though, because I'm like that's the easy answer. I don't want to do the easy no. answer. Uh, so I feel like hey. you could. 
see, I don't know. I feel like mm, <laughs> I'm trying to I'm wrap my brain around all my incubus knowledge, and there's a lot. That's so. the first question I have then. What? Why did you give yourself rules when I said there's no rules? Because I don't <laughs> want to just do the most popular song by a band oh, when I think of it. Take it. I try not to do that, all right? I want to have So what about like the different. like the uh the crow left of the murder like that? Uh, yes. So that's like an upbeat one. Oh, you can put Megalomaniac. There you go. That's the yes. one. Yes. Yep. I love that song. Yeah. is so good. That kicks see? butt. I got yes. you. See, see, there we go. I got hey, you. This it's is what I like there. to see. It's in there that works onto me again. Word. And you Gavin's know, really, he just, all he cares about is like, get back to him. <laughs> That's not all I care about. Like, I'm the host. It's but when you guys throw me ideas, I'm like, all right, let me just stir the pot a little. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was actually going to say drive later on Duh. just to make, just to mess with you. It's oh out. my God. It's out now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when Rich said boy band, you already know what came to mind, Pickett. Mm-hmm. And that is. The greatest band to ever exist. O Town. Chill. <laughs> Boys to Men. Okay. Motown Philly. Great song. There you go. That, any other song would probably make that. me curl up in a ball and cry. <laughs> that's it's pretty true. true. That's that's At least kinda, any of the songs that people know. I'd be belting <laughs> when On Bended Knee comes on. I think I'm trying to think so like this is like first I am aging myself, like first dance territory for me is like uh, I'll make love to you, which is really awkward. Yeah, that is pretty for awkward. a junior high. Like <laughs> they did dance. that for mine. Oh, so no. weird. Oh, like no. play on bended knee at least, but no, yeah. it's like no. Yeah. It was like let's go with the most popular one, which just so happens to be about sex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you couldn't play California Love at my uh, <laughs> dance, but you can play. Yeah, I'll that's make love weird. Yeah, and California that's Love's like... not even that. Bad. That's really not. It's that like suggestive. the most chill Tupac song ever. Honestly. <laughs> Yeah, that's, oh. that was why, that's why I got so much radio play. It's, yeah, fully. it makes sense. Hey, it's my turn. Yeah, it is your turn. Okay, uh, <laughs> so I'm go again. I'm just going through my list here, and like this song just gives me immediate '90s vibes. It oh, reminds yeah. me of TRL, Carson Daly, like oh. get your vote in. Yeah, and uh, it's you get what you give by the New Radical. Uh, okay, there we go. like that song isn't like a dance song, but that song just gets me so. Amped. Yeah, like, yeah, it's that's such it, a good song. It's it all, is a good it's all song. happiness. I was gonna say they reformed like last year to reform like once. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I don't remember what the reason was, but I just remember seeing like new radicals to reform after like twenty years to just play that song. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I was oh, like, what? Cool. I think you know what? I think I remember seeing that on TV. Yeah, it was. <sighs> I think it was a. I think it was the inauguration. It was something, or something like it that. was something that it just was like, whoa, they're back. Yeah, yeah. it's just like cool. It just, could have been like maybe it was like a, a COVID like uh, um, fundraiser or something, but I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I was I just remember. like, all right, cool. That's because I definitely ra- remember that. Now. That's the random news of the week. And of all the '90s <laughs> songs, it's sort of like kind of the test of time. Like the the fact that this one is one of them is pretty yeah, awesome. I Absolutely. think it's sick. It's yeah. just a good song. Uh, all right, now to me, back to you, DJ uh, Pete. We are going to do. Uh, a cover, the first cover, <laughs> I assume, of probably at least a couple. Uh, I feel like I feel like you have several ideas going in your head. You of what said I'm that, say. and the wheel started turning. Uh, and that and that's going to be uh, the Alien Ant Farm cover, of Smooth Criminal. <laughs> yes, that's that's what we're gonna do because while everybody knows the you know the original, uh, this song is way more uh, it b- better at kicking butt, I should say. Uh, because that's the, like the original song. You're just like, oh yeah, but this song they go way too hard for no reason, yeah, and, and it's incredible. The so, way he screams, Annie, are you okay? <laughs> exactly. And the yeah. video's great. And the ah, oh, the video's incredible. And I love it so it's much. one of the songs that Michael Michael Jackson loved mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. take on that song. Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, that album as a whole is great, and everyone should listen to it. Anthology yeah. is fantastic. I, Anthology. Great album. Yeah. So I found that song on YouTube, and my mom bought me the CD. Word. So that's how I grew up with that album uh, nice i was gonna say between that that song and uh tony hawk pro skater that's oh, how yeah. i got alien ant farm in my brain i love it oh uh da, 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 da. i yeah, love yeah. alien ant farm that's a yes. great person <laughs> that made me think of things i grew up on right and so if we're gonna sit here and talk about things i grew up on, <laughs> i can't not put a bow wow song in this oh playlist. my god here we go and so i have to put <laughs> fresh as i'm is oh um <laughs> <laughs> oh which man. is spelled fresh a Z I M I Z. Yeah, dude. Oh, hey, man. Jermaine Dupree, thank you <laughs> for making super so producer has produced. Like, he produced so many songs. Thank you for making so deaf. <laughs> so, so so deaf. 
forgot the second so. Of course. <laughs> you really got to put respect on that. Uh, it's so funny. I, like, there is a lot of Bow Wow, I guess, when I grew up. But, like, for some reason, a lot of it just... I, I, I didn't hear a lot of it. So every I, time I hear mention of Bow Wow, I'm like, oh, this guy knows. I don't understand how you didn't. Maybe, I mean, I probably did. I just don't know it. Like, you probably play some songs and I'll remember it. Growing up, I really thought every kid in my grade was listening to the Bow Wow and Omarion album. <laughs> I really thought that, like, wholeheartedly. And, like, they'd get in the car with me and my mom, and I'd be like, turn it in, put the CD in, and they'd be like, what is this? And I'd be like, What? So how do you not know? I thought you uncultured knew. child. <laughs> Speaking of Omarion, Oh by Omarion might be one of the like the most underrated like slow songs. Mm-hmm. Also completely inappropriate. But <laughs> <laughs> I was say this playlist uh, with the range we have. That is not my song. Just I so we're say, clear. I didn't think I it was. I didn't I start typing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't start typing. That would have been. We'll, we'll make a side playlist for things that got rejected for the playlist. <laughs> yeah, this is the th- songs that we said. But did not actually make the list. <laughs> the rejected over sexual side. Yeah, yeah. that basically. <laughs> All right. Uh, so where are we at? Is it on me? Yeah, yes, it's, it's on, on you now. Okay. Uh, real quick, just Snoop Dogg. What's my name? Like. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. that's it. Like we're, I've got to get like my old '90s hip hop in there. Absolutely. Um, Dang. Now I gotta wait a little bit to throw Snoop Dogg up in there. You can throw it. Listen. There's no rules. There's no yeah, rules. This only- is Terror Dome. This is Highlander. I don't yeah. know. Like, there's no rules. Hey, yo, why is part two the only one that's popping up? There's, two, there's two parts? <laughs> I guess. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> probably, like you might that. have to oh, find out who it. am I. Like, yeah. Who am I? What's my name? Also, it, like, my first CD was, well, my second CD was uh, Doggy Style by Snoop Dogg. Uh-huh. So number two, that's the second CD I opened on Christmas <laughs> to go with my disc man, right? Oh, uh, right My on. first CD. Burn my disc man. It, Embarrassing, but it was Shaquille O'Neal. Like <laughs> the name of the album was actually called Shaq Fu the Return. Yeah, I, I remember dude. that. I was, oh. And I was such a huge Shaquille O'Neal fan. Right. And I was like, Yeah, I'm so hyped. And then I put it in, I was like, This music is terrible. This sucks. Thank God I've got Snoop Dogg and Warren G and Dr. Dre to like make it all right on. And then whatever CD my I dad. That. So the CD service my dad subscribed to, like the Columbia House, you get eight CDs for one penny or whatever. You know? Oh yeah, that used, that was man, that, that was a steal. That used to be a steal. Like like when I heard about that, I was like, that's actually highway robbery. Yeah, and nobody ever actually finals. followed the terms of service, which is like actually pay like twice the full price oh, for a no, CD. Oh, not at all. <laughs> they should definitely uh, do that with vinyls. I would ex- happily accept four vinyls yeah. in the mail for the price yep. of one. Yeah, right. <laughs> which give... could be the price of one really expensive one. You never know. That's also true. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to trying to figure out uh, what I want to do, because honestly, like my like what was it? I think it was last year when Spotify gives you like your year end stuff. Uh-huh. Like like I think it was this past year they did like a little quiz yeah. on like your own music stuff. So it's like which I was like, what do you think? Like who, what do you think is your top stream band? Who do you, what? And then the main one was like, what do you think your top stream decade is? And I was like, All right, we're between two for me, and then there's the 2000s and the 90s. <laughs> Uh, and I guessed 2000s, and the answer was the 90s. So, Dang. <laughs> uh, which leads me to what I'm thinking, uh, that being uh, Blink-182, because that is okay. that is my lifeblood. It better is, be the song I think it's going to be. Um, but there's like a million that could be. I was yeah, that's, see, I know, but that's, and that's why... We know each other very yes, well, though, but it's so going through. thoughts come I would say... There's there's the obvious choice, there's the other obvious choice, and then there's some other ones that are kind of tied for third. And then there's another obvious choice. Yes, they're all obvious, but like they have Different varying levels. degrees. Right. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure that you're thinking of I Miss You. No. Oh, you weren't? Okay. That is not the playlist. I was going to say, I was say that's the thing. I was like, this is not, this is not the playlist for that. You're not gonna that's for sure. When I said the we could, song? Yes. I, the greatest song ever made. When I said that we could have slower songs, I didn't think we'd be getting sad. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's why I, th- I just that meant is, vibes. <laughs> yeah, that is not the choice. Um, so, yeah, that's what, that's what makes this a little uh, harder as well. But um, I'm going to say Aliens Exist. Okay. Because that is one of my favorite Blink-182 songs. Deep cut. And it's, uh, yeah, and it's... Uh, it's just so good. I just it's it's so good. I so, love it so much. And it is it has it, it's upbeat. You know it's catchy. Oh yeah. Uh, it's everything you could ask for, but not as played. Which is I what I was enjoy. really expecting you to like buckle under the pressure of not being able to choose which one and just going. That's what's my age again. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that. Then you know that one would be a good choice as well. Uh, 
I was like, cause there's some, I was thinking some other songs, and I was like, nah, either title or content wise, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for some of the earlier ones at least oh, that yeah. fit under this. I'm trying to think. Okay, so that makes me excited because now I want to do. Now I'm conflicted between doing my favorite '90s rap or my favorite like alternative music. Mm-hmm. And so the first thing that comes to mind was Maroon 5's album. Uh, Diary of Jane or songs not, about Jane. Songs about like, Jane. Di- I keep getting <laughs> Diary- Breaking Benjamin mixed up. Di- with everybody Di- gets it. It's uh, fine. Yeah, Diary of Jane but, is uh, the Breaking Benjamin song. It makes me think of that. And so at the Gross. same time, though, I don't want to put "She Will Be Loved" in there because yeah, we were just talking about not being sad. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not really like sad. Sad. It's just a little too slow. Yeah. And then I was like, why not just make everyone just like punch a hole in the wall? <laughs> and so I was thinking, harder to breathe. Yes. <laughs> This is good. I went out the other day and I heard that song not once but twice at the same place I was at in a span of like an Man. hour or two. Or as my like, grandpa right. says, harder to breathe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> why, why? I'm not going to ask. Never mind. My grandpa used to say wash instead of wash. Oh, my, uh, my, my mom still says that as a joke because either her parents said it as a joke or her grandparents said it legitimately. I don't remember which. Yeah. My grandpa still talks like that and then I think it's rubbed off on my dad. Yeah, that's probably. We were doing yard work one day, and he was like, "Hey, go pick up them pylons." <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. So I uh, chose Maroon 5's combination with Breaking Benjamin with their album <laughs> Diary of Jane. <laughs> <laughs> the crossover no one ever expected, which would actually low key be good. Like old Maroon 15, Five. Though. I would say like 15 years ago would have been good. Yeah. If you were to ask me uh, songs that were to be on this list, Maroon Five would have never entered into my mind. I would say if it would. I would enjoyable have been songs stuff. that people sing along to i just would not have guessed you guys yes. would have been like you know what? i i adore their first album so i grew much. up off of harder to breathe that that's was the first true. song i ever karaoke to oh really yeah <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> the first song i ever karaoke was that song because i loved it and the fact that little me just thought that he stuttered when he said the f word in the song i went <laughs> years not knowing that was censored years without knowing it because I'd only ever heard it on the radio and I was like, oh, I love this song. And then I like played it myself and was like, oh, he said the word oh, yeah. this whole time. I guess I was just a dumb kid because I never heard the censored version and I just Re- didn't just... realize he said the F word. It sounded like he got so mad that he was just like. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, that's how, they get, that's how they get away with it in other songs. Very true, very true. But we're back to you, Big Boss Dog. You mentioned the word karaoke. Yes. I have like two or three go-to karaoke songs. Uh-huh. One you've heard me sing. Yeah. Which is... Piano Man. Piano Man. Yes. Classic. Uh, another one is... Um, oh, my God. My mind is my mind is blinking. Black Street, No Diggity. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Which, would, which fits in this playlist. Yes. But the number one karaoke song uh-huh. for me yeah. is My Prerogative by Bobby Brown. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, dang. Right on. That is that's what we like to hear. That's the numero. I did it so much to the fact that I won't do it anymore. <laughs> but I still love the song. Such right. a banger. And I also love the Britney Spears version too because, like, yeah, you know, I'm a I mean, Britney Spears. I'm a sucker for mm-hmm. Britney. I, I would think everyone is. She's my little Brit brat. Is. <laughs> Fun fact: Her birthday is 28 days or 26 days before mine. Just saying. Fantastic. Right on. That's a very specific. <laughs> <laughs> Super fan. We're the same age. <laughs> super fan, super fan. I was in high school. I really was. I had the Rolling Stones, the posters, all the things. Yeah. Right That's on. right. Me and Jack Harlow share a birthday, and I think that, like, low-key that makes us connected. <laughs> I was like, I share a birthday with the Antonio Banderas. That has nothing to add to this, but that's You share a birthday with Puss in Boots, bro. Yeah, that's I do. Sick. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm I lucky. would have said Desperado, but Puss and Puss and Boots were too. I was gonna say. The, I was gonna say the dad from uh, uh, Spy, Spy Kids. Kids. <laughs> yeah, oh that's, that's where I first. Saw Generational him. differences yeah. come through <laughs> here. True. Pass the odds. Yeah, true that. Uh, oh, that's great. All right, so it's now to me. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, we've not we've not gone hard enough. In this. Oh, go hard. Uh, so we're now putting in... Uh, Hit him with it. Hit him with it. I was going to say, put in... Horde. I was going to say, we're going to put in uh, Party Up by DMX. Oh, what yeah. Because now we need, to, we need to blow the roof off the place. Sky Point. <laughs> exactly. DMX. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, that's that's basically it. We've not gone hard enough, and so we need a DMX to show. In the say. words okay. of Dr. Dre, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say in the words of DMX, but I can't repeat most of what he says. <laughs> 
with fear of being taken off of Twitch and the air, which I would like to not hey. do. We don't have snitches as fans. <laughs> That's, I would hope not. Oh, I'd really hope not. <laughs> Although the, they might care. <laughs> so the Twitch themselves might care, though. So yeah. let's not do this. Sorry, Twitch. <laughs> Oh, that's great. So we uh, veered away from it, but I want to go back to our lady pop stars because um, I feel like due to the fact that we all love her so much, we need to put a Britney Spears song in here. Mm -hmm. And see, the one thing that separates me from most Britney Spears fan is my love for her work on the album Circus. Okay. Hmm. And this is already a hot, the hottest take I've ever heard <laughs> on Britney Spears. It, I wouldn't say it's my favorite album from her, but it's still one of my favorites from her. Because Circus came out after yeah. the head shaving, right? Yeah. Yeah. After uh, the breakdown. Oh, yeah. But um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with If You Seek Amy. <laughs> Love that song. <laughs> I. It was either that was, one or Womanizer. And uh, so okay. I had to go with If You Seek Amy, though, because I feel like I would get so annoyed if I have to hear you, 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 over and over and over again. <laughs> her producer is sick, by the way, because he made it sound like she did all that by herself. Yeah. <laughs> but no, as a music connoisseur, I can sense when something's da- when something when something's is, wrong. Uh, edited. <laughs> edited. And, and moved around. <laughs> um, all right. But yeah. Of all the Britney songs. Okay. I Wait, like, oh. I, you wanted to pay homage to your favorite album. Yeah, like we're gonna yeah. we're gonna dive deep You're into the only Britney person whose favorite album is Circus. I never said a, it was the top the f- favorite. Well, you see, one of one, one of your favorite Britney albums. Yeah, that you you're still the only person who's ever said. That. Hey, <laughs> I got a. Hey, it's just I guess this is why you've gap. got the podcast. Yeah. You got the Twitch show. This is I gotta know something if I'm the I'm one. Jacob's right. your friend. <laughs> yes, hello. We could have we really could have just done like a playlist on just like boy bands and like women from the 90s oh that's already have true. that by the way if anyone I'll, wants a link to it i'll share it there you go <laughs> <laughs> it's called the uh boy bands and then in parentheses and girl bands essentials <laughs> right on. sweet okay uh i'm going uh-huh and I, we're changing up the game a little bit uh-oh because i think my last two have basically been like it's been all pop right flip it on its head uh but i'm gonna throw some alternative music in there because i just word sometimes i need it right sick and i'm going with uh lazy eye but the silver sun oh okay. my god i okay. love that song so i love silver sun saw them a concert oh. in chicago really? great show that's oh, excellent show. i want to see yeah. them i was i need to listen to some of their their more, more recent stuff as well i still haven't done that but me yeah. too on if i'm being honest yeah like, i haven't listened to a lot of their recent stuff either but mm-hmm. silver sun pick is always mm-hmm. good stuff yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have introduced at least, like, two people to Silver Sun nice. Pickups because they are fantastic. Proud of you. Now, when it comes to mine, I I feel I want to do this idea, but I know for a fact the song is not on Spotify, which makes the whole playlist gimmick that not hurts. work. So <laughs> Now, see, the, the real rules thing is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm right, just, rules. I'm, it has to be on Spotify. All right. Rule number one, has to be on Spotify. All Rule right. number two, I make the rules. Okay. Rule number three, Follow my rules. Yeah, so would you, are you gonna tell me you're like your uncle dropped like a sick track and? My uncle does make music. That it's is a currently fact. on SoundCloud, but, but he's working hey, his way to Spotify. Was it in the '90s? Was what in the '90s? Your uncle making music. Oh no, he still doesn't now. No, he's an actual DJ. When did he? Okay. Stuff. He's successful. He's he's doing great things. I think his album just came out recently, or okay. he released it on. But that's I, not what it is. I apologize to like, Jacob's uncle, <laughs> so saying, who's actually making really yes, good music. Yes, that's not was that what it is. His artist name is I, Uncle Pickett. <laughs> I was gonna say because I was gonna say. Uh, Rickety Pickett. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> DJ Rickety Pickett. <laughs> uh, that, 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 in another universe, that's my current DJ name. Oh, right uh, on. But but yeah, I was gonna say more than a woman by Aaliyah, but none of her stuff's like that's on. A, that's not on Spotify. No, the the people that own her music are are awful, and like nothing is available. Like there's some random things of Aaliyah. It available. is on Spotify. Well, last I checked, it was it, like they it's, just it said it was available. But it's like grayed out, and you can't play it. They just mass released her music weird wait did okay. they finally like, do that within the past two weeks that or past like month or so are you been, for real yeah they've been mass releasing changed her this man's life oh uh, yeah they dropped dude. her debut self-titled album and that How like did i missed this in order they j- just released her albums i saw them like earlier this year or late Leo last fan. year talk about how there was like not rumors but there were some talks of trying to do that but i thought it was going to be like jumping through a bunch of hoops and it was going to take forever <laughs> and i guess it just took a year and i didn't even know that so i'm gonna go look some stuff up right now <laughs> 
Uh, so but there yes. you have it, chat. Jacob's a fake Aaliyah fan. Look, okay, I miss one memo. Sue me. All right, it happens. Oh, you'll be getting summoned. Okay. It's, it's, so you, you do yours now while I <laughs> rectify some wrongs. <laughs> Texting Aaliyah's manager. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right, at least I know now. Okay, so this makes me think. Um, you did Blink-182 earlier. I did. And I feel like Blink-182... For a lot of people that were around in the 90s and early 2000s, just, like, grew up off of them. But, like, I wasn't as acclimated with Blink-182 as I am with Sum 41. Ah, nice. And so nice. I have to put in Fat Lip yes. by Sum 41. Absolutely. I love this song. Good because song. Uh, in Too Deep, my favorite. Sum yes, yeah. that one's also incredible. That album as a whole... Yeah, uh, All Killer, No Filler. All Killer, No Filler. I love that. I love Did that you listen to their, uh, I think it might have been like two years ago maybe. They put out a new album. I have not listened and to it, no. it is so different well, than I was gonna you say would think they, it would be. Well, I was going to say, it did, I, I, was so. say I think, I yeah. think like, the lead singer is quite possibly the only original member left. So they've gone through lineup changes. Oh, uh, really? Pretty much since like, yeah, like since the second album, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think you're right. Yeah. Um, but like, Nothing Nowhere the newest artist that's like really popular in the mm-hmm. alt world he did a song with them and it was actually really good okay but like he's i wouldn't say he's gone soft but he's obviously not as angsty as he used to be as right. you know I as mean, that he should sense. grow up in life right but yeah fat lip is also the best use of panning in music ever when they do the because yeah yeah, yeah. I was say I know like every word of that song. That was my <laughs> first experience that. to being confused as to what's going on when I had <laughs> headphones in. <laughs> yeah, that's some good stuff. You guys right are there. just so angsty. <laughs> just I'm here so for full it. of angst. So full of angst. Back in my day, I was just dripping angst. <laughs> I, I was I just I just like. He's got a lot of drip. I was, I was like, angst. Yeah, yes. <laughs> drip <laughs> too hard. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna put that in the playlist illegally. Oh no, it's it's not, it's there's not no, illegal. It's so there's not no rules. rules. <laughs> we have rules now. We have the rules. We've established rules. It could be now. Aaliyah uh, as long as Aaliyah's on Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you had me so mad. I thought you were about to do like just some band that has that's that's no one's heard of. <laughs> I was, was like, like, well, I was like yeah. look, I have Spotify Premium. Most of the stuff I was do is through Spotify. I was about right? to say, okay, pick it. We get it. Yeah, I'm you're gonna, original. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull off an unreleased. Uh, I made this on my single. 808. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull a, an unreleased, deep cut Suicide Boys song that's only on on Spotify or only on SoundCloud, and the, the full version is not even available. That's that's what I'll do. <laughs> oh my god! Please don't. <laughs> Just to really break these non-existent rules. Apart. I just love how weird this playlist already is. Yeah, yeah. I could, like I can't. You're gonna share this with me, right? Oh yeah, oh, The next time I stream, I'm playing this playlist. All right, and we're just gonna vibe out. <laughs> right for on. real. Yeah. That's Speaking of like vibing out, I'm I'm looking at it right now. Miley Vibers Cyrus, up. Party in the USA. Ah, here we go. Oh yeah. I had to make sure that it was actually within the rule. Right. I think it's 2009. I think yeah. when it came out. Mm-hmm. It counts. At this point, no I, rules I, I, means I things saying, are gonna like, happen. I feel like that came out like. So much earlier than that, but it didn't. <laughs> Jeez, that song is timeless. It really yeah, is. It really Did is. You, so, um, I was—I saw that song live. I've talked about this with you before. During but. the homecoming parade, uh, oh, yeah. we saw all the white people get turned to that song. Yep, that is that is a song the white people get turned to. I mean, and, I and go we, like this, I just say, we, on. That's we one agree. of my favorite playlists ever. Is there's a playlist on Spotify called "Songs White People Get Turned To"? Yeah, because somebody it, made some YouTube videos titled that. There's like maybe four of them. <laughs> there's so many. There's so many songs that uh, white people get turned to. Yeah, it's everybody incredible. gets turned to that song. That that is true though. That's an everybody gets turned song. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's back to me now. Yeah, it's back to you, DJP. Um. Ricky okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna say I'm I'm getting stuff that's again. I know there's no rules, but we do have a certain like sort of vibe going, and I'm trying to stick with that. So it's been. Uh, again, I listen to almost too much music sometimes, and there's so much stuff all over the place that I can't, like, keep it contained. I'm also trying not to repeat because I feel like you know you want like a. Sort of mellow, but also sometimes hype. Yeah. So, like stuff in the playlist. Like I usually think Gorillas. Yeah. I'm not trying to go back to that well yet. Uh, as easy as that. Would I mean, be. we're 20 songs deep. Right. I know, but we've not like really had a repeat yet. So. Oh I, I yeah, wanna, yeah. I, yeah. I want to wanna, keep the. Yeah, energy. I want to. I want to keep the street going. You know. <laughs> keep the streets fed. Exactly. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> whatever you just said. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to. I was gonna say. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back. I was gonna say. Uh, DMX was my. Or no. DMX was one of my other ones. Yeah. Uh, 
So we're gonna go Wu Tang Clan. Okay. Okay. And, and we're gonna do Cream. Cause, oh. Okay. Because you got to. That's gotta be. That should be in every playlist that exists. Honestly. The more I think Cash about it. Cash rules everything around me. Exactly. Dang it, dude. I was gonna put um. The whole Legend of Shaolin album on there. No, nah. <laughs> the one that's the whole one. Yeah, the the whole album that is not released yet. It is can't. It technically can't. is released. There's but just one existing say, CD. <laughs> yes, and like four people have it, <laughs> and I they talk- can't legally release anything till uh the year twenty. What is it? Twenty one oh three. Yeah, it's they tw- can't legally release two thousand one hundred. That. That's yeah. crazy. That's. But they're apparently they found a good lawyer. So go team. Uh, good, good for that guy. So, um. I like that you did Wu Tang because I was just gonna throw "Protect Your Neck" in there nice. or "Bring the Ruckus." Yes, because those two get me so hype. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, earlier, when Rich mentioned Shaq having his own album, oh, no. it made me think of how sad I am that I can't put that Tech Nine song in there now with Dwayne the Rock. <laughs> It's about drive. It's about uh, power. Don't remind me. That song's already getting on my nerves. Wait a second. That's a real song. That's yeah. a real thing. Okay, hang yeah. on. I heard this on TikTok. Yeah. Yes. And I heard. Obviously, you hear the rock like yeah. rap. I'm like, this is a joke, right? <laughs> That's a real song. Yeah. It's a real song. Yes. It's uh, Tech yeah, Nine. A, yeah. And he's, a, he's a featured verse on I Tech Nine song. Already forgot the name of the song. <laughs> Because uh, all that matters is the rock stuff on it. I think it's Rumble or something like that. I think that's... Or something some, like... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The song is not bad. It's just TikTok was like... <laughs> and just overused well, it well, just, so hard. Well, I was going to say that it's just funny because I remember the fir- when I, f- I first found out that happened because someone I, I follow tweeted, because uh, I follow a lot of wrestling stuff, someone tweeted and just said, you know, I, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am surprised just how many rock isms the rock fit into that one verse. He's like, it's like less than a minute long, and he references basically everything about himself. I he can't. swear to God, I thought it's, that was a joke. And I mean, also it is, shouts but out it is his also tequila real. company. Yeah, he does. He does everything. He, he says something about I got mana running through my brain, my veins, and that's yeah. the name of the tequila company that he's like co-sponsoring. <laughs> and he it's literally weird. like takes the whole bottle and swigs it in the video, and then just goes. Rock out, and I was like, <laughs> "It's wow. there's a music video to yeah. this too." Oh no, he's yeah. in the music video. Yeah, he's just in this weird room with screens oh, and lights. It's and called it's Face just, Off. That's what it is. Yeah, because the hook is Rumble. We're gonna tear your face off. That's <laughs> a joke, man. It's well, real. I say, it's real. It's, I was say it's real and a joke. That's, I say, it's both. <laughs> the Rock treated it as a joke, but Tech Nine scares me when he <laughs> paints his face. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my God. Um. We learned a lot turn? here on this show. Yes. Yeah. No. Wait. Did you just go? Jacob did Wu Tang. That's yeah, right. I was, and like, I was you, talking and about you how about sad it. I was that I couldn't do that song. <laughs> oh um, God, I can't believe that's a thing. <laughs> I, I love. Yeah. I was like fully which, bummed out. This is. <laughs> this is a. This is a learning stream. We we learn things here. We just sent our boss into a spiraling depression <laughs> over the fact that The Rock seriously rapped at us. <laughs> hey, it's not the first time he raps. Okay, it's there's like the there's time. like maybe two things that he did with somebody through like a WWF album. Am like I allowed to 90s. put the John Cena theme song in here? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no, but any of his rap songs, yes. Because <laughs> that album actually goes hard, and that's John not a joke. Cena rap extraordinaire. Yeah, absolutely. I don't <laughs> remember. I don't remember what the album's called. Eminem Who. It's probably who. called You Can't See Me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna look it up. Actually. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna think here for a minute because we got yeah. so thrown off. <laughs> Yeah, and Dad's got to get out of here, so hurry up. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I'm going to vibe it out some more since he chose w- Cream, which is one of their most, like, chill songs that they've ever made. That makes me think, who else is, like, a chill rapper from, like, the 90s? Warren G. Yeah. And I have to do Regulate for love of big homie Nate Dogg. That mm-hmm. was, that's on the list, 100%. Absolutely. Yep. Call me Nate Dog. Got to love it. Scott also, Hunt. um, the album is is called You Can't See Me. I knew it. I knew it would be. <laughs> I thought they called it something else. How do people no. like a man who wrestles in jean shorts? I don't understand. <laughs> um, because I he's never the actually, only one that does. <laughs> he was actually my least favorite WWE wrestler. <laughs> he just became one of my favorite my favorite celebrities, like within the, like the past ten years since he started doing like comedies. Because mm-hmm. it turns out he's actually a really funny and fun, like cool dude. Yeah, no, he like, is. Like specifically the Suicide Squad raised oh, yeah. as much love as I have for John Cena, and especially after seeing how the Peacemaker TV series is going to be just even more nonsense. I love John Cena. He mm-hmm. was in that one like recent comedy too, like the um, 
Was Seth Rogen in it? I'm thinking about the one where they're like worried about their daughters or something. Oh, Blockers. Like that. Blockers. Blockers, that's yes. it. Not Seth Rogen. Was Seth Rogen in it? I can't remember. No. I don't think it's so. It's not Seth Rogen. It's uh, Seth Rogen's best friend from the movie Neighbors. That's right. That yep. guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, now that's why I got him confused. Who was yeah. also in the first Suicide Squad. <laughs> I, I don't even remember who that is. Well, I forgot his name. The Inception runs deep. I right? know, right? We're just... These, these, these levels... My brain. So many layers <laughs> to these songs <laughs> that really don't this, mean much. This episode Welcome is to crazy. Pass the Ox, the educational hour. Oh, my yeah, God. That's what I was saying, yeah. Get schooled in the tunes and, and other, other things. Stuff. Quit looking at the camera. <laughs> I just wanted to... You're Sorry. making it weird for everybody. I'm making it weird for everyone <laughs> No, you're making it weird for me. Okay, I'm just going to say a Millie by Lil Wayne. Oh, okay. Hey, there you go. I just wanted to ease the tension between us and the viewers. <laughs> I didn't want them to feel left out. By staring at them. <laughs> so tense. <laughs> got to break the fourth wall. I guess. Make it as meta as possible. Oh, my God. All right, Piggy. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, we're going to do Machine Head by Bush. Okay, okay. Because, again, Glycerine would be too sad. Yeah. <laughs> so uh-huh. as much as I love that song. We're gonna we're gonna go a little bit up from that, and we're gonna do Machine Head. Nothing like hearing Gavin Ross still tell me to breathe in and breathe out. Mm-hmm. That's one of those songs. So there's like bands that have like a certain sound, right? So like Pearl Jam. Whenever Eddie Vedder sings, it's like he sounds yeah. drunk every time. Parent broker, yeah. right? Yeah. And like <laughs> that was a good impression. Uh, the Machine Head, uh, Gavin Ross does the same thing. It's like that Machine Head, yeah, better than a <laughs> we do I, uh, red Machine Head. head. That's actually it. who I'm named after. Really? Oh yeah, yeah you told me. I am named after Gavin Ross. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Holly <laughs> Joe. Um, <laughs> um, what's funny though is I was named after the man, and the first song I ever heard by Gavin Rossdale was when he went solo mm. and did "Love Remains the Same," yeah. which is so soft compared to how, <laughs> so, compared to Bush. So soft. Oh my oh, god. I never thought that <laughs> I. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Wonderful. Picky. You're up, picket. I just went. Oh, wait, I'm oh, up. So what are you talking about? I, my head. I, like, I did Bush. Well, he was talking about it, and I thought, oh god, right. everything hurts. <laughs> this is a brain racking episode. I'm named after my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a fun horse name. Not, o- <laughs> not only did I get him all sad that the rock is seriously rapped, now he's jealous of me because I was named after a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's cool, right? Yeah, that's true. Don't worry, I'll just name my kid Rob Zombie. <laughs> his first, oh oh, his whole first name is Rob Zombie. Yeah, that's his whole first name. It's a hyphen. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, you got to give us your song, Gavin. All your right, song. Gavin. Let me just tell yeah. you before I reveal the song, I just gotta let you guys know. I don't know. That there is no other way to do it than Loso's way. And so, doing that, I have to put in Throw It In The Bag by Fabulous in the Dream. Because gotcha. Fabulous deserves all the respect in the world. One of the greatest rappers of the early 2000s. I don't care How who you How do are. you come across that song? <laughs> what do you mean? So, like, I used to DJ like uh-huh. at like bars and stuff like that back yeah. in the day, like at your guys' age, right? And I would play that song and nobody liked it. Nobody would like any Fabulous song, honestly. What? <laughs> Like, oh, what? No. It was fabulous. Was not the meta back then. This is some. This is whack. <laughs> Give me a time machine. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go in there, pimp hand. Put it in the bag. <laughs> like, no, like nobody knows that song. Just from my it era. In the bag. <laughs> it's a. That's a banger and a half. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I, sometimes so... I just wonder. I just <laughs> wonder. Well, I mean, every time you talk about how these are songs you played in the club. It always goes into my mom used to go to the clubs too, <laughs> and so that's that's where I like I a lot of my taste. I probably DJed for your mom one day. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> my mom uh, didn't like huge clubs, so she was probably bouncing uh, yeah, in all these I, I little say ones. I never DJed at any big clubs. I, that was never a thing. But. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. Man, I love this so much. Fabulous is so good though. <laughs> Him and Jada Kiss did that collab album, <laughs> and it's called uh, Friday on Elm Street, and Fabulous was playing Freddie essentially. And Jadakiss was Jason. And the <laughs> intro is so hard, especially when Fabulous starts Are you catching off... this right now? What? How do you know that? <laughs> well, this album was, oh, like, man. recent. This is, like, this is it was great. in, like, the 2010s, probably. Oh, okay. Actually, okay. I think okay. I remember, okay. actually, I remember that. Actually, I think I remember that. But I, I, see, I don't remember that. But I grew up off Fabulous and Jadakiss, though. <laughs> like, Jadakiss is one of the greatest rappers ever. I know my stuff. Is, I got saying, a whole podcast, Rich. Well, I, I feel like I can make a mixtape for your mom, and she'd be like, yeah, I know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> she'd be like, yep, 
I Abs- remember him. Absolutely. He was wearing Kangles. <laughs> And Adidas track pants. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that's coolest, what, that's who I went. In the room. I wasn't going as LL Cool J <laughs> for the parade. I went as Radio Rich Green. <laughs> oh my God. I was definitely not the coolest dude in the room when I was DJing. Oh that's man. Wait, are you saying I was the coolest dude in the room wearing that? <laughs> yes. That's a compliment. Oh my gosh, that's great. I mean, I was the only one that dressed up. Still <laughs> not the coolest dude in the room. Well, I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say, I showed you that picture that. Somebody happened to get of us two in it, and we, we look, look we look sick. fly. It's great. We, we look, look fan- we look so good in that picture. The <laughs> only song that would come to mind is "Pretty Fly" for a white guy. Yeah, that would be playing <laughs> as we were walking. Oh that God. is not going in the playlist. That is not. Dang it! That is not happening. No. <laughs> Dang it! I like Offspring, but we're that's not going in this playlist. At this point, my goal is to make this weird and also to yes. make Jacob's uncle famous. <laughs> yeah. After this podcast. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's throw in the power of love by Huey Lewis in the yeah, news. Let's go. <laughs> Well, Do you like Huey last Lewis three in the news? songs have been like a Millie by <laughs> Lil Wayne, Huey Lewis, and I think the uh, Silver uh, Sun pickups. So, so yeah. have you ever heard of Huey Lewis in the news? Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? <laughs> I was gonna say, is my uncle Huey Lewis? Is that what we're saying now? No, what I'm saying is that <laughs> just uh, a big fan of American Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's saying my this goodness. is playlist is weird, and yes. your uncle deserves some shine. So. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh my God, that's that's wonderful. Shout out to Patrick Bateman for no reason, <laughs> no reason at all. One second, I gotta look this up real quick. Oh no, you you gotta get your idea. Okay, I was, I never have, mind, I'll, it works. I'll say, I was gonna say, I have. Were you looking up years of songs? I had to look up the year of a specific movie oh, okay. that a song is from. It's gotcha. not a musical, but the song was Good. unfortunately only tied to that movie. Well, I was gonna say, if you put a song from musical in here, I might have to start throwing hands. Yeah, I just want the whole know. little shop of horrors album in here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> is it a goofy movie? Is that what you're going to throw in? Oh, no. But you can't be... listen to those Tevin Campbell songs. And it makes me so mad. That is very annoying. There is nothing oh, other than Eye to yeah. Eye and Stand Out that I want to listen to. Because Powerline was generational. Mm-hmm. I have a Powerline t-shirt. I like That's that you true. could say one thing and throw this <laughs> conversation just completely. I know. It's Jacob. Awesome. <laughs> I'll just say, eventually we're just going to have a podcast where there's literally no plot and we just start talking. This is the last time I'm on the podcast. <laughs> All right. My feelings are hurt. Dang. I can't stop looking at the camera. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyways, thinking? I'm going to go, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not trying to like play it to uh, the crowd here. Uh, but we're going to do Beautiful Disaster by 311. Okay. That's what we're going to do. That's a vibe. Uh, For real? Yes. Dude, absolutely. I've been trying to figure out what 311 song I can throw in here. Yeah, see, <laughs> I've been thinking the same thing. <laughs> I know. Honestly, I know we talked three eleven at least a handful of times, but they're probably the band I've seen uh, the most in concert. That's I want to. They they look so much fun. I absolutely want to be part of. Exactly. Because I remember two years ago before we all had to go home early, like the last thing we did as a group was play music, and it was on March eleventh. And so I convinced Chris Lopez to play Amber on the speaker, and he was like, <laughs> "Man, this is not the vibe." I'm like, "What are you talking about? Everybody here is loving this. <laughs> <laughs> this is great." He had immediate regrets. It was awesome. It's, still, it's my favorite. And then, like, a week later, you know, the world ended and we all went home. So I was like, dang, maybe I caused that. A week later? Two days later. Two days, that's ended. true. Two days later. Because that was my birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah. That really sucks. Worst birthday ever. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, man. <laughs> so I already know what my choice is. All right. Um, let's, so get, love, let's get this genre so shift going again. I love Phil Collins. Yes. But I can't do In the Air Tonight. Yes. Respectfully. That's fair. Um, so I have to do On My Way from the Brother Bear soundtrack. Oh, because you did not that just song name is a bop Bear. and a half. Oh, my God. Don't, don't oh my gosh me, because think about it. Brother Bear is a timeless movie that Disney created, and it... Oh, that song no. itself has Wait. no, re- no Wait. relevance to bears at all. It really doesn't. No, I'm sorry. I have confused it with a different movie that has bear in the title. That's you were thinking better. of Country Bears, I weren't you? Country, yes, I yep. thought Country Bears first and was yeah. about to die on the inside. Yeah, someone saw Chris Lopez's Snapchat story. Yeah, I did. Oh, my God. That movie is, a, <laughs> that movie is cursed entirely. Um, but, yes, no, Brother Bear it's is on good. Disney Plus. <laughs> I'm not watching it. The, Say, Rick Moranis kills it as a moose. I don't I spy something green, eh? We're not, no, we're not talking about this anymore. Tree. <laughs> hey, Rich, what's your, what's your song? What's your next song? I think we've got to move back in the 90s, right? Yes. Yeah. I've got to because... I feel like that's one that's been missing. So I'm just going to go ahead and just say Christina Aguilera, Jean in a Bottle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brittany's got her shine. Let's give it up for Christina yes. a little bit. Yes, Tino. I'm glad go. you said that because I was about to just say Dirty, the Red Man version. It's words. <laughs> <laughs> also, a song I played many times in the club. <laughs> in the club. The quote, Wait, the time club. out. Did you ever play in the club? In the club. Oh, my God. So many times. So I was yeah. just saying, like, I think, I think you're legally, Because that's what it was, like, that was the birthday to. song, right? Yeah. And that yeah. generation was like, 
uh, can you play the birthday song by 50 Cent? I was like, <laughs> it has a name. <laughs> it has his name. <laughs> the birth- I was like, actually, the birthday song's made by like those two old ladies, and they get paid every time it's used in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, a real tr- that's a real thing. Yeah, that's Good sick. for them. <laughs> All right, Pickett, you're up again. Uh, I'm, I'm see. I'm now getting on the thing where I'm finding a band. I'm like, oh yeah, and then I think of like the content in their songs. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> like that's <laughs> that might not work. Oh my gosh. Um, but um, I'm scared. We're gonna, uh, but we're just gonna, we're gonna play it more safe. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna go with uh, "What I Got" by Sublime. Is what we're gonna put in. I should punch the computer <laughs> right now because I have a Sublime song in mind. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> You got, there. You got. You can pick it. Pick another one, man. Not back to back. I was just saying. We've right. already got the entire Britney Spears Circus album That's on this true. gym. <laughs> no, we didn't. I just chose one song. Don't get me started. Oh man. You do not want to start this, are you? But <laughs> I love. We, we can. We'll, <laughs> well, I was going to say we're gonna go off air and just continue a three-way music <laughs> argument where if somebody mentions one thing and the other two lose their minds about it because that's been this whole. Episode. I really wish I could, but I. Go. Okay, uh, my next song is Ain't No Fun by Snoop Dogg. Gotcha. Let's see, now we're back. Yes, you, we you, you, right, so you can have multiple people in here. This is yeah, yes. well, we were trying to avoid the repeating as much as possible. Right, I was going to say, like... If, but at if, some if, point, if happened, we're going to get more ideas. Yeah, I was going to say, if it happened that close together, it would have been like, eh, but, So we're yeah. at 30 songs now. So for the last five minutes or so of this stream... Just run through it? Let's speed run it. Oh, God. Let's, okay. let's speed run it. Let's see how quickly we can make it to the boss level. It's okay. Long <laughs> then long. I'm going to say Daft Punk. Uh, which one? Uh, one more time. Okay. okay that's, good. A, that's a timer. I should have thought of the Daft Punk one earlier. Dang. That's a, that, yeah, I was going to say that's that's a good – they, literally every song they make is so good. All right. Pick it. Uh, uh, Sell Out by Real Big Fish. Dang. That's, that's what we're pulling. Also a really good video. Absolutely, yeah. I love that. We need more real big fish on the on the station. The pool player makes me sad every time I check. Yeah. All right, I'm going with "Caress Me Down" by Sublime. Word. Mucho gusto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with "The Good Life" by uh, Kanye West. Oh yeah, I Seven. knew it was coming. Was best kidding. album, hands down. By the way, "Graduation" is the best album. Yeah. The only disagreement I have is "College Dropout's my favorite by him, but I can't argue with the rest of the trilogy. All right, pick it. That's fair. Um. We are going to go with, hold on, let me look at the album because I don't remember which one it is. Uh, we are going to go with uh, I'll Stick Around by Foo Fighters. Okay. Off of their first album? Second album. Second album, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with I'm Sprung by T-Pain. You might as well type in uh, Down by Jay Sean. Oh! Word. Right on. Down like I'm supposed to be. <laughs> like I'm supposed to be. That's how, that's what Lil that's, Wayne says. I know. <laughs> All right. All right, now. <laughs> now. Hey, did you know Lil Wayne says, down like I'm supposed to be? <laughs> did you know? Did you know that? I was like, I was like Thank, thanks. Come on, thanks, Ricky Gavin. Pickett. Get it together. That's, that's cool. Uh, we're going to do... Uh, my own worst enemy by Lit. Okay, oh. that's what we're doing next. Because as soon as that guitar riff kicks in, everybody loses their minds. I feel like you're at my prom. <laughs> I want a, I want a mosh to that song. Oh, yeah, right on. Yes, absolutely. I choose Teenage Dirtbag by Weedus. There we go. Yes. <laughs> I almost. And now I feel like we're drafting songs. Like. Yeah, we're. Tra- <laughs> That's I select. We secretly combined with each other and decided we were just going to figure out what happened at your actual prom. Yeah. I, I, will, I will say this. Almost everyone I've ever met, I find out that they know that song. through, And everybody has learned that song through a different way or likes that song yeah. through a different Some way. Some people so through funny. Dawson's Creek. Yeah. For me personally, I learned it because I thought it was Weezer. And then when I looked it up ah. on YouTube, I found out that Jason Biggs was in the music video. Ah. Okay. We're going to get a little weird. And we're going to say Listomania by Phoenix. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. We're digging deep. Yes. We're digging deep into the, the alt. I mean, it's not that deep. But it's deep enough. Right. I For this you. playlist, anyway. Yes. Man, that word is so fun to not type. <laughs> no. What, Phoenix? <laughs> no, Listomania. Oh. <laughs> Are you one of the states in the union? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to do uh, Heads Will Roll by the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. Cause I was like, this song would go really well in like, like a club setting or like a bar setting, uh, and then I heard it at a bar like not too long ago. So I was like, all right, I was right. It's cool. <laughs> I feel like I never hear this song outside of the internet. So, I'm gonna do a LL Cool J song, but not I'm bad. 
That's fine. I'll throw it back to uh, Headsprung. <laughs> that is another song that never <laughs> took off at the club. And I love that song. I'm so upset that people don't like these. They didn't like them so, the songs now. <laughs> I'll be posting the back. Or they, maybe they're going to. I was like, I, th- I think you've had a song. Uh, yeah. I, was like, I think you said a song that also had sprung in the title Yeah, earlier. I did. T-Pain's I'm, I'm Sprung. sprung. We got two sprungs. Let's I'm go. I'm Sprung. <laughs> Where it means oh everything Don't and nothing at the same time, which, which I love. Um, okay. We are now going to do. Uh, I keep forgetting how much we were looping around this. Wait, no, that's him. That's him now. You skip me. Oh, it is. Say, yeah, it's really. That's okay, say, like, dude. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm I, just here. I was like, we're well, vibing. Was, I was like, well, that was really fast. <laughs> let's just go ahead and let's just do. It's gonna be me by in sync. Let's just throw. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's gonna be May. In a couple months, several. And like say, six or seven. Way more than a couple. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like about this playlist? Is there's no skips playlist. Like absolutely. Every song that plays, I don't want to skip. Exactly. There has not been one I'm disappointed in. Yeah, you're gonna start. It, they're gonna start it because you know people like. S- Give it like two seconds in. I might every, skip the, the song from the Brother Bear soundtrack or whatever. What? <laughs> have <laughs> you ever heard it? I don't know if I ever. Exactly. Have. Give it a try so before bad. you decide you're gonna skip it. Uh, we're not gonna do uh, uh, "Breathe" by the Prodigy. Breathe. Uh, that song. I love that song so. Every much. song you say takes me to a place in time <laughs> in history. Every single <laughs> one. And it's like it's before you were born. Yeah, the thing I think yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. That's what's killing me yeah. about your guys' playlist. And look, my every member of my family liked a different genre of music, and uh, they, all of that was bestowed upon me basically since I was born. So, really, the theme of this podcast is rich is old. Is, <laughs> hey, is is where we're at. Um, I chose "Roll Out My Business" by Ludacris. Okay. <laughs> Luda, let's go. Luda, Luda, uh, gotta love it. Is there any room for JoJo on here? Yeah. Can we get leave? Yeah. Get out right now. Um, I don't. You probably don't like. The show because I don't like it, but my mother loves it. Uh, the Masked Singer, I I like. I think that's all right. I've JoJo watched... won it last season. Really? And I I would pre- probably love it. I've just never watched it. I have yeah, predicted it's... every single one for my mom. She'll send really? me a Snapchat, and it's like a ten second clip of the person in their costume singing, and I'll be like, oh, that's Wiz Khalifa. And right. she'll send me a snap twenty minutes later and be like, holy crap, you were right. And I was like, I just <laughs> I have no impressive. voices. Yeah, because <laughs> my mom saying, was like, that that's actually... not JoJo. And I was, I was like, saying... it's JoJo. I was gonna say that show. I was gonna say my my dad and sister watch it, and if I'm home, I usually watch it with them. What song number we on, Gavin? We are on forty six. We are down to our final four. All right, all Let's right. Hit it. All right, is it me? Yep. Yep. Uh, okay, we are gonna go. Uh, all right, we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and say screw it since we're already doing weird, and we're gonna do Psycho Vision by Suicidal Tendencies. So we're gonna do. <laughs> You got dark. Bro. Why, why am I here? <laughs> Look, I was say you guys know Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah, of you, course uh, I do. Yeah, exactly. That was in the f- first one, second one. I think it was in the second one. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm envisioning myself playing the 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 school in yes. Tony Hawk Two, and I'm wall riding up the <laughs> ramp, grinding, hitting the bells. That's where I'm at. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. I was say you and, and my dad have the same memory. Yeah, that. like the common theme here is you and my dad, you and my mom. <laughs> Well, say I've played them too. I have the remakes. I've been playing them. <laughs> yeah, uh, this has me, been a lot of fun. Yes. Tell me why I can't. Find, am I spelling psychovish? It's it's spelled C Y C O. I probably should have mentioned that. It's, it's I, not called. I'll it's say not I remember the correctly. song from the game. I don't remember how to spell it though. I was say, I kind of um, forgot. Every time that. you say where's uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, I instantly think of where's your head at. <laughs> um. Let's see. I gotta keep it going with um. My girl Brit Brat. Word. And um, it's taking all I have not to say every time just to be funny. Mm. Because I think of when... Do it for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of... Uh, <laughs> what is... Why did I forget? I don't know. Uh, we're going to do another song from... No, that's, nope. From Blackout. We're going to okay. do Give Me More. Hey, here we go. Just because I love the <laughs> intro. It's Britney Chick. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love Rich's reactions have been my favorite part of this entire podcast. Yeah, this he awesome. says he's not coming back. Okay, he's Big gonna Papa by Lentora's B.I.G. Okay. There we go. I'm, br- I'm bringing some credibility back to this thing. <laughs> <All> credibility? <right. laughs> Dang. Who do Dang. you think you are? Dang. Give me, give me more. Give me more. <laughs> Slapper. Give me, give me more. That, that, you uh, play that song and instantly you just hear doom, doom, it. it's such doom, a slapper. <laughs> Honestly, that song's in GTA Five, so I hear that on yeah. a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do. Uh, Can I kick it? A tribe called Quest. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. I, I knew as soon as man. he said as soon as he said we were bringing credibility and he said the Taurus B.I.G. I'm like he's gonna uh, love me for this one. Okay. <laughs> so. 
Yeah. For the final song. This is the. Oh, you get the final song. Yeah, yeah, you get the last one. It's your show. We're at the last one. Yes. And I was the one who went last. Yeah, you're you're We're good. here. Um, I'm just gonna break my own rule, and I gotta do another Tribe Called Quest song because every time I thought of an artist I wanted to do, you said that artist. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna do Benita Applebaum. All right. Because while it is probably their most loved song by the masses, it's still also a classic. Now you make me just want to listen to like that and then Jurassic Five. Like that's what I want. Yeah, do. Like right on. Five. I have uh, I have the limited edition Benita Applebaum Vans. And Are I only, you serious? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I only got them because the van store near me was brand new and had just opened when every other store ran out of them. Oh, word. But yeah, thank you so much, Rich. I, did, I had yes. so much fun. Yeah, we, could, is... we, should, we should do a part two and three and just never pick a song that, that anybody will ever listen to. Yeah, oh, I would love that. <laughs> yes, I love it. Um, Deep last cuts thing. only. Last Deep, thing. The deepest. We need a clever name. I was thinking the throwback kickback Okay. for the playlist. I do like that. Because we have Bus and V2 for Mine and Christian's Mm -hmm. Modern Party Playlist. That is true. Any objections? Uh, Other than Jacob's Uncle. That's the only (laughs) thing I can think of. Or Circus by Britney Spears. (laughs) Jacob's Uncle is cool. There you go. Cool with a K, yeah. (laughs) DJ Rickety Pickett. (laughs) (laughs) That's just going to be one of my several nicknames and and pseudonyms to add to my long list that I'm collecting. But uh, thank you guys both. This Mm -hmm. is awesome. I love this. Yes. I love doing this podcast. This is great. Much love. Thank you to everyone who watched, everyone who jumped in the chat. Yes. We are out, and we will see you next week on Pass the Ox. Yeah.